You have the right heart. Holy Spirit, take over. Listen, you have the right heart. You're going in the right direction. You're going in the right direction. You got to keep going in that direction. Like, it's so opposite of what everybody thinks you should be doing. About every, of what everybody's telling you you should be doing. But it looks different and people can't see it. God gave you the vision. Remember that. Your heart is in the right place. Your heart is in the right place. You might be getting multiple voices right now. Like your head is saying one thing. Your heart is saying another. Your heart is in the right place. Your heart is in the right place. This is confirmation. It's not me. Like, I didn't know what I was going to talk about. And then I would just press record pretty much. Well, I prayed about it first. And God just spoke to me. Like, your heart is in the right place. You'll keep going in the direction you're going. You can't worry about, like, like this life is really going to be a lesson in, like, you not worrying about what other people have to say. Because everybody is going to tell you to go opposite. But you got to listen to what God is telling you to do. Not what everybody else is telling you to do. Your heart is in the right place. Yo, yes, follow your heart. And like it's getting stronger and stronger by the day, like under like understanding that voice. And so you have to keep following your heart so it can like following God, right? You have to keep following that voice so that it continues to get stronger. Because if you sway from that, it's gonna cause other voices to get stronger, and you don't want that. So your heart is in the right place, you gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. It's 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 Enjoy the process, though. Like, enjoy just, like, just being. Like, um, I keep, like, God keeps bringing to my attention this interview with Jay Shetty and um, Rick Rubin. And in it, he says, like, when he had the number one album in the country, he, he said he felt terrible. Like, it's a bad feeling. Like, you feel hopeless when... You wanted something so desperately and you get to that place and it and it does not make you happy. That's that's when you start to feel hopeless. So your goal is to enjoy the journey. Don't be like, oh, when I get there, I'm going to be so happy. Like while you're doing this, while you're getting there, while you're becoming, love yourself. Love the journey. Enjoy it. Have fun. Like. Feel that feeling of joy that you're so desperately like thinking that thinking believe or believing that like getting there is going to get you because it's not going to get you there. Like feel that feeling now, like learn, like, like keep practicing just feeling joy and happiness and, and <laughs> confirmation and freedom while you're on the journey, while you're walking toward the goal. Like you got to get there before you get there because getting there is not going to give you that feeling. Ooh, I'm speaking to somebody. Yeah, hear me and hear me well. Like, like really, like, really, that's a big one. That's a big part of this, actually. Like, you really got to get to the point where you just love the journey and, and, like, enjoy it and have fun. I think it's beautiful and find joy in the little things. And, like, find joy in your situation right now. Like, as your situation looks right now. It looks nothing like it's going to look. <laughs> like, you're going to get all the things you want. Like, materially, socially, emotionally, spiritually. You're going to get there. You have to. But getting there, right? Like, especially spiritually, emotionally, right? Like, requires that you have that feeling, the feelings of joy, peace, wellness, all before you get there. Like, like that's a requirement because you're going to get there and you're going to get the physical things. You're not going to feel better if that, if that's not the case. So as you go on this journey, know that, know that like your love, like that love inside of you, that calmness inside of you that you're feeling, like how you're like really turning over a new leaf, like doing 180s in all parts of your life, like all of that, like cherish that in your heart and become that while you're on this journey. Keep going. I love you.